To write the name for Ag3PO4, first we need to realize we have a polyatomic ion here. This is the phosphate ion, and it's bonded to these three silver atoms. Silver, that's a metal. It's actually a transition metal. So we have this metal and this group of nonmetals in the phosphate ion. We're going to use these rules here to write the name for Ag3PO4. So let's first write the name for the metal, Ag. That's silver. Next, we're going to write the name for the polyatomic ion. This is the phosphate ion, one you should probably remember. That's lowercase p. And so far, the name for Ag3PO4, we have silver phosphate. We said that silver is a transition metal. Silver is almost always 1 plus. That's its ionic charge. So the ionic charge on each one of these silver atoms is 1 plus. Because of that, sometimes you'll see a Roman numeral 1 written between the silver and the phosphate, since silver is a transition metal. You'll see it both ways, though. The reason we need three of these silver atoms is because the phosphate ion, the whole thing, has a charge of three minus. So we need three of these one plus silver ions here to balance the charge on the phosphate ion to give us a net charge of zero. So that's why we have Ag3PO4. So the name for Ag3PO4, you could have silver one phosphate, and you'll also see just silver phosphate quite frequently. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.